I think particularly for the NASDAQ to be above 8,000 is very significant. It was only two weeks ago that when Tencent missed its earnings uh, estimates for the first time in a decade, that a number of people that have been just ardent bulls on the FANG stocks were concerned about that for close to a week. They thought maybe we might be at peak FANG here if this company is going to miss. It's a behemoth in China and in all of Asia. And, and, and those stocks were weak for three to five days. They've worked through that. They, almost, they closed at an all-time high on Friday. They're following through today. And, and, and that's significant. The Dow, of course, is lagging a little bit. A lot of multinationals and stocks that are very sensitive to trade and the dollar, still a few hundred points away. Quincy, when we see cyclicals rallying right now, when you have names like Caterpillar, Dow, mm -hmm. DuPont, 3M, et cetera, that are, that are all higher, presumably on these trade talks and everything that's mm -hmm. unfolding here with Mexico and the U.S., is that coming maybe perhaps a little too early given the fact that China is really sort of the bigger threat to those stocks and, and the industrials overall? Yeah, well, I mean, you, the China issue is still there, but there's another element to this whole picture, the equation, and that is that China is looking as if it's stabilizing its currency. And that has had a major effect because what it will help to do is weaken the dollar a bit, but it also helps emerging markets. But perhaps it's also sending a signal that they don't want to get involved with the president on whether or not they're manipulating their currency. Never mind, however, they don't want money leaving the country and because it's so, it's so weak. But that has been very helpful, as has Jerome Powell's comments on Friday. You add that to the NAFTA, or I guess it's being renamed, but the bilateral agreement with Mexico, all of this is extremely helpful. Um, Rick, let's talk about that and, and your views on the dollar. Clearly, uh, the dollar was weak anyway uh, the last sort of seven or eight trading sessions. Uh, weaker again today on this trade deal. Does that make sense to you? And have we seen a sort of 2018 top in the dollar? Uh, it totally makes sense. Uh, the issue for your second part is hard to assess. I would say that I think the dollar will firm up again as we get later in the year. But I do think the intensity of some of the moves we had in early August probably won't be replicated uh, unless we get another exogenous issue that makes emerging market economies scramble for dollars to cover some of their liabilities. And, and our guest, uh, uh, Quincy, made some really excellent points regarding China. Listen, if China is going to try to assume the role of the U.S. in terms of the head organization of trade in that part of the world, it's going to have to look out for some of the emerging market economies that are so integral into that puzzle. So whether they're letting their currency appreciate a bit against the dollar in deference to Donald Trump and the administration's comments of manipulation or more of a survival issue regarding keeping their uh, new trading entities uh, from seeing some balance sheet anxieties, uh, the end result is the same. And I think what it really underscores is how important this potential victory on Mexican negotiations and the bilateral agreement is for this administration. Because whether the world wants to admit it or not, the U.S. at this point in time is still the rainmaker of global trade, period. And I think that's an issue that will work in this administration's favor uh, with other deals now that they sort of have one in the pocket. Tim, final word. You look like you had something to add there. You know, getting back to his comment, Rick's comments on the dollar, uh, a number of weeks ago when Trump made comments about the Fed, he got a lot of criticism and pushback on it. Now, I don't believe for a second that any of his comments are going on the Fed are going to affect their policy. But it did peak the dollar.